Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about once again the TBS 453DX. Now previously we already talked about particularly with Eddie the web guy on Span TV about how this NAS the TBS 453DX has got stereo speakers and we kind of half threw out there just how good the stereo speakers were but we didn't really focus on it a great deal and what I'm going to use with this video is one to show you exactly how to use them and two how they compare with other audio devices that people might use to have nice portable easy audio so first thing first what we've got here on the main part of the screen is the desktop interface of our QNAT NAS using QTS now as we can see this is um, the TBS 443DX you can see at the top left and with this device we've uploaded a couple of audio files but the main one we're going to use today is Jewel of the Fates by John Williams the soundtrack from the shall we say arguably good film Star Wars The Phantom Menace again mixed feelings I know I have um, but what I'm going to show you is one how to use the speakers and two how that audio quality compares so in order to play a song you can actually use a number of different ways of doing it um, you can use QNAP's own application such as mu music station you can combine it with the HDMI application known as hybrid desk station so you can use HDMI and the speakers but for the most simple basic easy way to play one way to do it is to go straight to file station find the folder or files that you want to use in this case in music find the file right click and then just play right now you should hear it from my desktop let that play for a few secs So right now what you're hearing is the audio from my monitor and then in order to play this to the QNAP NAS what we need to do is then select that as an audio output. So if we select network media player and we select line out now it's going to play from those speakers. Give it the full volume. really is that straightforward to play audio like that on this device so again you can do it from music uh, from music player there's so many different ways in which you can do this to so stop that track come out of there you can go into the music station application and from there you can play the music I'm not going to make you listen to it again you might be getting sick of that intro and waiting to hear the rest of it for from here you can either select the song and, song and play or up here to stream to individual media devices such as the audio output as before and more but again, it's that straightforward to play audio directly from your NAS. And QNAT NASs, a number of the modern ones, have actually got speakers on them. But this is the only one that's got stereo speakers. So, how does it compare? On the previous video, we did do a comparison with the National Anthem using um, an iPhone. Today, we're going to use this song, just because I think it has a better resonance. And it's exactly the same version. And first, we're going to play it from a mobile phone. So this is a Pixel XL2. I'm playing. So actually we'll leave that playing a little bit longer. Let that carry on. Now, of course, we are making a comparison here with mobile phones and desktops. And, of course, if you're a serious audio user, you're not going to buy this for its stereo speakers. But as a feature, it's still very, very good. And if you are looking to have a NAS in an office, then this really does come into its own in terms of audio and ability. Where in an office setting, you're not going to have a serious hi-fi system. But you want one way in which you distribute audio to connected users, be it work that you're working on. Alternatively, let's turn that off. Alternatively, there's internet radio stations, there's podcasts and more, all of which could be automatically downloaded onto the NAS. So, we'll play that music again. And again, we will use File Station for this, just because it's the most basic, straightforward way to do it. And we'll transfer that over to the speakers. And you can set it up as default to go to these speakers. We've just not done that. And again, this device here 
for a minute. I'm not going to try and talk over it. Now, volume can be adjusted by these buttons here on the front for volume up and down. We're not going to tinker with them because I do want this to be as little a tamper test as possible. Now, my phone was at 90% volume and this is at 100%. We're not going to compare it volume for volume because it gets a little bit tinny on the phone once we exceed that number. But I do think it's arguable that the QNAP is producing better stereo sound than a mobile phone. Something that a lot of you use your phones for. Um, in the office environment to have podcast, radio, that sort of thing. Again, I'm not going to say it's cheap. It's still, you know, 480 quid. But if one of the things you're going to use an as for is audio, I do think this is worthy of concern. And remember, this has got 10 GBE and currently the best Celeron processor out there. So we're just going to pause that music. Um, but yeah, that has been a quick audio test of the TBS 443DX. We're going to do more with this device when now we've got it in the studio and hopefully get that to you in the next couple of weeks. If you've got any queries about this device or what it can and can't do, let me know in the comments. But don't forget to click like and subscribe to keep this channel and the other channel going so I can keep you better informed about now. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.